Hey, it's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab. In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the elliptical marquee tool and a bunch of the different options you can apply when using it. So inside Photoshop here, we've got a nice picture of some fruit and our marquee tool is in our toolbar, which in my case is on the left, yours might be located somewhere else. But we have somewhere in that toolbar, mine at the top, we have a dotted triangle, or sorry, a dotted square. I know my shapes, trust me, dotted square. And then if we click and hold on that, we open a menu where we can choose different types of marquee tools. One of them is the elliptical marquee. So I'm gonna use that one. And the, the design or the display turns into the ellipse on the toolbar. So we know we have that one selected. And now we can click and drag anywhere on our, on our picture. And we click and drag and we make an ellipse of any, any size, any shape. If we hold on the shift key, you can make it a circle. A circular selection. So when we let go of our, our mouse, we have our selection there. So this is now an elliptical selection and we can just press copy and paste or copy and paste it onto a new layer and start working with that piece that we selected. But there's some more you can do. That's just the default. That's the most basic way to use the elliptical marquee tool. What you can also do is use these options up here. This first one is the add option. So maybe you want to select this area, but you also want to select this area up here. Or maybe you want to select an area that overlaps your original, maybe like this. And then the cool thing is that it combines the two. So now it combines those two ellipses into one selection, which is pretty cool. And then there's a the subtract option as well. So maybe you don't want this little piece in the middle here. You don't want that. So then when you select it, that won't be, or when you copy it, that won't be selected. Maybe you don't want this outer edge up here, maybe, or right, right, so take that out. So as you can see, our, our dotted line selection changes shape because it just subtracted that piece that we said we wanted to get rid of. I want to remove this one. And there we go. That's our selection. We can make some really sophisticated selections using the elliptical marquee tool. And the last option is the intersect selection. The one I'm gonna draw right now, wherever there's an intersection, that part of the selection will be kept. So only where they intersect. So if I draw this right here, like this, only the parts of the selection where they intersect are going to be kept. So we have a little piece at the top, and then we're gonna have a gap and a piece at the bottom for our selection. And that's what we have, that's the intersect. That's the intersect selection. It just selects those two pieces that overlapped. You can use the feather to apply some buffering to your selection and make it a little bit smoother, look more natural. It, it basically just takes your selection and then moves it. In my case, I had 10 pixels. It moves all the selection 10 pixels inward. And you use it for certain instances. Quite often, it's not necessary. I usually have that at zero. For the style, you can choose fixed ratio. We have it on normal, that's what we're working on. On fixed ratio, the selection is always the same ratio. So by default, it's one to one, which ends up being a circle. But you can change this to, hold on, I gotta change this back to normal. You can change this to one to two. So for every pixel of width, it's gonna have two pixels of height. So we're gonna have a ellipse. You can change it to two to three, so every, every two pixels of height you get, or sorry, two pixels of width, you get three pixels of height, and you get the idea. So you can change the ratio based on what you want. You can also use fixed size. By default, that's 64 to 64, 64 by 64, and wherever you click, you will have an ellipse, or a circle, sorry, that is 64 by 64. If you make this 1,000, by 2000, you will have an ellipse. And everywhere you click, that ellipse will show up 1000 by 2000. And that's all there is to the elliptical marquee tool. That's all you have to know. And I encourage you to just start playing around with it, start practicing, and you'll get to know this tool in no time. And I think it's gonna help you with your Photoshop because it's really helped with mine when I first learned this tool. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from Higher Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video. Share on social media, subscribe to your YouTube channel, and check out higherlearninglab.com 
where we have tech tutorials every single day. Talk to you soon.